Hi everyone. So we're still on the second lesson of the um, trans of the uh, trans not transformations, is it? Can't remember what it's called now. Functions. Yeah, that's it. We're still on the second lesson of this video. Seven thousand eight hundred and twenty. Right. So let's have a look then. So the idea of this is thinking about what x values you put in, what y values you get out in the middle, and then when you use them in the next function, what it gives you. So I've got a function f of x and I've got g of x. So I've got, if you look at this one, for x is bigger than zero, root x looks like that. That's what it is. And 3x minus 2 uh, would be something like that, going between minus 1 and 3. So you've got to think about these, these graphs. What x and y values are going to work? Right. So it says here, the question is to find the domain and the range of the composite function. So this is it's a proper head mess, this. So f of g of x is only defined for values of x which are in the domain of g and also such that g of x is in the domain of f. So I put x values into g, I get y values out. Can I use them all in f? Or does it restrict what I can put into f? So let's have a look at this. So x is the domain of g. Right, so I know um, that the, the domain of g of x is minus 1, is less than or equal to x, is less than or equal to 3. So that's what I can first put in. So I'll first put this in. There. So that's what I'm going to try and put in. Now, g of x is the domain of f of x. That means, right, so I've got a bit of an issue here now. Is the numbers I get out have to be bigger than zero. So I need to find out which g of x values give me bigger than zero. So I don't really like this. So I'm looking at the y values from g of x. So the y values from g of x, but they have to be, because of this greater than or equal to zero, they have to be greater than or equal to zero. So I'm going to say 3x minus 2 is greater than or equal to zero. So 3x is greater than or equal to 2. x is greater than or equal to 2 thirds. So of these numbers up here, all these I can't use. If I try putting in 0, 3x minus 2, so if I try x is 0, that would give me a minus 2. But this is greater than 0, so I can't use it. I can't put the minus 2 into it. That kind of makes sense? God, I hope so. It's dead hard, this. So what it means is I can't put anything lower than 2 thirds in, because it has to be a positive value of to go into the f of x bit. Uh, so what we got? So f of x. So it says, so uh, so to combine it, I know it's got to be bigger than two thirds, but I know it has to be less than three. Anything below two thirds in this will give me a negative number, which can't go into the square root of x, because I take the original x values that gives me y values for g. I'm going to put those y values into f, which work. And these are the y values from g of x that work, that will work inside the f of x. Oh, God, it's so difficult. Right, so f of g of x. Uh, so it's going to be the square root of 3x minus 2. There. So to find the range, so that's the square root of... Uh, this graph here is the square root of 3x minus 2. That value there is the 2 thirds, which matches that, and it goes up to 3. So if you look at the picture of that graph, it's got certain y values going from 0 to whatever that x is through. So if I think about this now, that value, where well, that goes across, is when x is through. So that's going to be the square root of 
3 lots of 3 minus 2 is root 7. So this is fine. The output for the composite graph is fine between 0 and root 7. Oh my word, that is horrendous. There, that's f of g. Belongs to the reals, such that. Wowzers. I'll probably have to go through this one in class. This is not, hard, not easy at all. Oh, right, let's have a look at this one then. Got a couple of minutes left on this vid. So find the domain of range of, of g of f of x. So for x is greater than 0. Okay. Uh, so for f of x, uh, the domain is x is greater than 0. So if I put 0, you know that 3 minus x is just... A straight line going down at 3 there. So that means then that my range of values is good for this graph will be less than or equal, or less than 3. So that gives me a range. So if I want, where is it? So my range will be 3 minus x is bigger than 0. So x is less than 3. So I'm saying that. I can get x is bigger than 0, stick it into there, that says x is less than 3. So that's my f of x bit, that's the bit that's going to go into it. Now, it has to be bigger than 0. So for g of f of x, uh, x has also got to be bigger than 0. So if I combine them both together, I can go between 0 and 3. Oh, my word. Right then. So g of f of x belongs to the reals such that it's going between uh, Hang on. That should be it. Hang on. I've got one little bit down. So I'm doing x values here, aren't I? Uh, I'm not going to say no, I've not got a clue, Dave, to be honest. So, for G of the domain is that X belongs to the reals such that it's between 0 and 3. Now, that gives me a range. If I use 0 to 3, mm -hmm. um, I've got to think about what it's going to give me. So, let's have a look at the equation. So, G F of X. Is going to be putting f into there, so that's 1 over uh, x plus 1. Oh, we're out of time. Oh, I'm making mistakes now because I'm rushing. So I'm going to replace the x with a 3 minus x plus 1. So g f of x is 1 over 4 minus x yeah, like that. right so how do I get the y values out of there I can only put noughts of 3 into it so that's all I can do so these values here are going to go into the function so if I put x is 0 in I get a quarter so when x is 0, that gives me a quarter. When x is 3, that gets me 1. So it's 1 over 4 minus 3. Wow. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's bonkers, isn't it? Man, we're running out of time. Which is good, because you might all think it was a dream. So my range, g f of x belongs to the reals, such that a quarter less than g f of x less than 1. Don't worry about it, we'll go for it in class as an extra bit. That's the whole bonus to doing the vids. Oh my word, there's another bit. I'm going to probably leave that actually to run out of time. We'll sort that out in class. Right, I'll see you later. Bye bye.